Polkum. Are you ready for your task? Do I have a dumb idea? Yeah, I do. Oh my god, what have I done? My joy cons are dead. I may have to go into a scuffed setup. So basically, I'm doing the circumference when I really should have done the diameter. Hardest mini game oh. ever. <laughs> oh, this has gone pear shaped. Ready to put up a fight? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bingathon Taskmaster, the show where we have contestants do stuff they would never have thought of they would do in their entire lives just to make a fool of themselves live on stream for your amusement and to my amusement as well. Anyways, with that being said, uh, why don't we introduce our, uh, our contestants for today? Man, talking is hard. Uh, we have Boo. I'm green, da ba dee da ba da We have Nordic. Dance, monkey, dance! We have pro Sag. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. <laughs> yeah, ta, 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 ta. <laughs> we have Rexy in here. Are you ready for this? Da, 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 and last but not least, we have Zet. I got the power, dude. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and of course, by my side, I've got uh, the man who uh, probably has nightmares about train after every Taskmaster stream. It is the one, the only, Rob the Gamer. Uh, hello. Uh, my life has fallen to pieces. This is my last resort. <laughs> Beautiful. So, uh, how is everyone doing today? Yes. Very, very good. I'm doing. Darkness right. imprisons me. All that I All see. Right. Absolute well, horror. I'm feeling more comfortable. Let's go. I mean... I mean, I will brave it a lot more, absolutely. I think uh, no one can see it yet, but I got the muscles for it. <laughs> well, since you're all doing, I would say, uh, how about we do our first photo task? Yes, so just like all of our other live streams, our very first task is going to be our photo task, where we give them a category, and they submitted their photo to the category. And, you know, at this point, uh, me and Trains have become synonymous, and I wanted someone else to suffer about Trains, so I asked them to submit for the Taskmaster Judgment a photo of something that might be a train, but also might not be a train. Ambiguous Trains. Ambiguous Trains. So if it looks too much like a train, or it looks nothing like a train, they're probably on the wrong tracks right now. Assuming well, they're on tracks. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of hard for me to judge since obviously Rob is the train expert here, but maybe we've got uh, we've got another train expert in Farisag. Oh uh, yes, indeed. So I would like you to cast your mind back, Floha. What what does the source of the train mean here on Bingathon? I would say that it is during the generic bingo uh, tournament where I myself, in my race versus Nordic, I believe, put forward the question to the judge at the time, Rob the Gamer, is a monorail a type of train? And that debate raged hotly in the comments and in the commentary booth and in the VOD comments and in the commentary of basically every other match where trains turned up. So I would like to put that to rest by your judgment, Floha. Rob, if you could show the image. The this image. right here is the monorail. The that monorail. was the monorail I was asking about on that day. It is All from right. Half-Life, as many people would recognize, <laughs> and it's bloody hard to get that kind of angle when you don't know that there's a free cam command in that game that you could have just done and got the image so much easier. All right. 
Well, I, I see we've, we've got we've got a rail, as would be probably necessary for a monorail. Monorail, yeah, that does come with the territory. Uh, we do, however, have no... Uh, I, I don't know how you say it. We We have no engine. It's uh, like a DMU, so it'll be in... Probably under the floor, um, if I had to guess. Or it could be an electric tram. Those are also kind of train adjacent. Um, also worth noting is that it's one car, which is technically a locomotive and not a full train, but that's for my friend Clef to debate. It's It was eventually given to me, but is was that right, Loha? Think about that. Yes, that is the question indeed. Thank you very much for... Uh giving me this showcase of this beautiful monorail that uh, began the age-old question of is a monorail a train? We will find out after this ad break. <laughs> uh, break. In the meantime, why don't we have Boo bridge this ad break? Yay, I'm gonna fill the void for the ads. So, uh, if you want to just show my pick real quick while I just begin explaining what's happening, because it's very simple. It's a hand in time. It's the Nyakuza Metro. So these are, well, trains, but they're pulled by cats, but they're on tracks, but the tracks aren't solid. But, you know, it's, yeah, it, it's trains, but maybe not trains. Anyway, there you go. It's great. They're, they're metro, metro things. You can't go inside them in the game, but I'm fairly sure the, the inhabitants do get inside of them. And, uh, yeah, they're pulled by cats because they're cute. There All you right. go. All right, so the cat basically replaces the engine. Yeah, it's a cat engine. It ru it runs on purrs. <laughs> <laughs> I see. How many purrs per hour? Probably at least six. Mm. Kind of sad. All right, six purrs per hour. Well, that's a bit uh, not as much as we'd like, I believe. I mean, one purr per ten seconds. That's yeah, that's pretty slow. <laughs> No, not even one purr for ten minutes. Yeah, per ten minutes, but, but you know, if if they're if they're pulling and huffing that much, they don't have time to purr as much. So when, when you give them their mandatory ten minute breaks, then you get them to purr. Because you have them, you have to have breaks, otherwise they're gonna get tired, and that's that's sad. You don't want tired cats. Are you suggesting I mean, that the cats have unionized? I mean, I hope so. They have to, because like they're cool. They're cool cats. You you have to have a union if you're cool. I mean, that's just right. the rules. A cat definitely needs time to watch other cat videos on YouTube, so... There's that too, yup, yup. Mm. Uh-huh. Well, would a cat really need to watch cat videos on YouTube? I mean, yeah, they're, they're friends. It's, it's their whole social network. They have to, like, we, we see human videos all the time. Cats are going to see cat videos all the time. That's just... Speak for yourself. I watch exclusively axolotl content. Oh, that's cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well... Uh, let's see. Rexy, what do you have to offer? Okay, so I'm going to give you a throwback to see, I mean, to uh, episode one. So I hope you will be able to remember this somehow. There you go. All right, then. Ooh. So I'm giving you Kingdom Hearts 3. And in this Ooh. game, one of the mechanics that can happen is the attraction flow, where you can summon attractions based on legendary Disney theme park rides. What I'm showing here is the mountain coaster, which is based on the Disney ride Big Thunder Mountain. Now, going by the dictionary definition of a roller coaster, of a uh, train, rather, a series of connected railway carriages or wagons moved by a locomotive or by integral motors. You can see the design there. There are carriages pulled by what looks like a, mo a locomotive, and, you and it's indeed on rails. Light rails, but rails nonetheless. But it could also not be a train because, as I mentioned, it's based on Big Thunder Mountain, which is a roller coaster. And they're usually pulled by tra by chains in the track, so you could also rely on gravity when at the peak of the track. And even then, the attraction flow att att attracts run on magic, not by technology, and then they disappear when the attack is finished. So, Big Thunder Mountain stroke mountain coaster, train or no train? I gotta uh, respect the Kingdom Hearts throwback. That that is indeed the question: train or no train? Even Shakespeare already asked that question, or something that alike. I don't know exactly, but uh, yeah, train or no train? Uh, 
So the light thing there is supposed to be the rails? Yes, everything is generated by light and magic because that's pretty much how the the power of the keyblade works. Other attraction flow rides like the mad teacups, the splash run, the uh dueling blasters, I cannot remember the name is um <laughs> The pirate ship. All of this is generated by you know what what you would what what you would associate it with illuminations by the beach, all of the pretty lights and the light, but they take the form of the attraction they are emulating. So, so that's uh, how it looks. All right, all right. Well, train or no train, Nordic. So, who would you consider to be the most famous train in the world? To me, Thomas. Thomas the Tank Engine. Been around since 1945. Everybody knows who he is. He, he's, a, he's a friendly little charming fellow with a face for a front, and, you know, he, he's, a, he's a locomotive. So, my picture is what happens to Thomas the Tank Engine after nuclear fallout. Oh, boy. Uh, here we go. I, I, he turns I into a sentry bot, of course. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we we've got the soul of a train, but the body of a killer. <laughs> um, train or not I, a train? I'd say it's somewhere would, in between. <laughs> the way you teased it, I really thought you would show Choo Choo Charles, but I was thinking awesome. exactly the same. <laughs> I feel I like am so glad to be wrong. <laughs> at this Thomas turns sentry bot thing and it feels like it's been recycled to do something completely different than its intended <laughs> purpose. It's like for the same reason, one may not necessarily call a sofa a sofa after you turn it into like say a rug or something. <laughs> and I remember that one episode of Top Gear where uh, uh, where uh, parts from a uh, Porsche were scrapped and then turned into living room parts. At that point, the Porsche is no longer a car. It is a three-piece furniture suite. So they, we got the debate going with this one now. Yeah, but considering we've cut the head off of something that's animatronic and, and you know, it, it still has the soul of Thomas the Tank Engine. He's still a happy, it, friendly little boy. It becomes complicated when you consider that Thomas <laughs> is, by some definitions, a living thing that considers itself a train. Yeah. <laughs> Um, also, he's still got anyway, a this, anyway, this was a this was a fun mod that I saw amongst the many mods that you can put Thomas the Tank Engine into a number of games. He, he the, the, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities for that. This one in, in particular struck me as just a bit of fun. <laughs> All right. Again, no, thank goodness you're here, Nordig. I am uh, starting to to uh, get disappointed. Yeah, I mean, if there was like a human centipede portion in the game or something, I would have tried to use that, but. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. I've gotten an adults only rating if there was a human centipede. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you for this. Uh, then, uh, Zed, what uh, did you bring us that may or may not be a train? Well, um, first of all, I want to encourage everybody who just found the discussion we've had around uh, if uh, it still can still be considered a train if the parts are just for something different. Uh, I've attended a full uh, semester um, uh, of uh, identity theory when I studied philosophy. I would uh, recommend reading the article on material constitution on the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy if you're into that sort of stuff. So... Anyway, but now up to my task. The, the wonderful thing about Taskmaster is, of course, that all the information is in the task. And something that could be a train or not be a train can be interpreted into in various ways. It could be something that an object in the game that you find that the object itself could be a train or not a train, or a picture where you see something on the picture that can be interpreted as a train or not a train. I think I kind of leaned more into the second way of interpreting the task. So if you want to show the picture, please. Here we go. There we go. So, um, also to prove my proficiency in the gaming world, this is a game that just came out on Tuesday. It is called Threshold. I can I recommend it very much. And on the right-hand side, you see something that in the game 
Well, at first, on the picture, I think the, the structures on the right-hand side, they could be interpreted as something that might be a train that is passing by or that might be hot something that, that you can enter. Um, I will spoil it right away. In the game itself, it is a train. However, it is an infinite train that just keeps driving and driving driving next to you all the way around and you don't find out what's on the train until the very end of the game and you have to make sure that it keeps the speed that it has and it's also very uncanny so it's kind of it's it's it doesn't you, you never see an engine pulling it because it's just the wagons of the train passing by and i found this so mesmerizing i just played it yesterday as a matter of fact but the experience was so otherworldly that i thought i have to bring this into my photo task and as such uh here is my my photo of something that could be a train or might not be a train. Okay. Uh, does this train have rails? It does have rails, yes, but you can't see them on the photo. Okay. Um, why can't we see them? Are they just like out of view or are they just generally by shadow, just I guess. invisible? They are they are uh, behind the fence, sort of. And uh, yeah, the angle that I took... Um, I focused more on getting getting the ambiguity of the picture of what could be a train rather than uh, showing um, uh, the exact uh, materialization of the train. Okay. But we can't okay. see them because they are they are um, well in the middle of the wagons behind the fence, so they are not very easily viewable. So it's basically just an infinite train. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Would you okay. like to see all five of them again? Yes, please. Right. Here we go. So where shall we start? The top or the bottom? Ah, uh, you know, we usually start from the bottom. Let's start from the top. Sure. All right. Uh, I mean five points i mean can it be more obvious i mean of course it's the age-old question is the monorail a train or not <laughs> i think we, i think the debates have still not been answered uh we, we're not trying to answer this debate here but we can just say we do not know if a monorail is a train or not well whatever it might be a train, it might not be a train. And I think that certainly gives Parisac five points. Okay. All right. Four points. Now, this is, this is gonna get harder. This is gonna get harder. I'm currently... Let's skip the four and three points. Oh, okay. I'm still debating over the fact which gets four and three points. Okay, sure. Uh, two points go to Boo. I like the idea, but it's, I think it's just too train like. It's, I mean, it's a train. It's essentially a train, just that it gets pulled by a cat. But it is a train. I mean, that's fair. I'll take that. <laughs> All right. One point goes to Rexy. Uh, okay. A train. It's a train. It's a roller coaster. It's a train. It's a <laughs> roller coaster. Don't empower themselves. It's a train. It's even a if a train, even if a train is a roller coaster, it looks it looks like a train. It essentially is a train. I believe. All right, now. I think three points need to go to Zed. It is still essentially a train. But we do not know if there is an end or beginning to the train, I believe. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, I, I guess that is that does give indeed some food for thought, and I guess that leaves us with four points for Nordic. Uh, surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly, uh, I, it's the world's yeah. most famous train, just not in train form anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
admittedly, the world's most famous train is the Flying Scotsman. Admittedly, I'm surprised myself that you're getting <laughs> four points for this time. I didn't expect to give you four points, but I gotta give you four points for this after <laughs> excluding everything else. And uh, wow. yeah, I think... I I will gladly take process of elimination. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's, uh, that does it. Alrighty then. So that is one for Ruxy, two for Boo, three for Zet, four for Nordic, and five for Koreza. Indeed. Woo! But of course, we now have our regular tasks to get into. So uh, shall we begin? Oh, yes, please. Awesome. Well, I hope you find all of this quite interesting. Let's take a look. Hello. Hello. Oh, look, it's Whoop the Groomer. How's you doing? Uh, okay. Hope you're ready for this task. Ready. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say yes, sure. <laughs> I wish you luck. Showcase some impressive gameplay. You have 15 minutes to showcase your impressive gameplay. Your time starts now. All right. Uh, hello. Yay. Uh, now you can actually see us for one. <laughs> Crazy how that works. Uh, yeah, impressive gameplay. Uh, impressive gameplay. Yeah, I'm sure hope you can impress me. Yep. But uh, yeah, who can impress me the most? That is a wonderful question. So, uh, Rexy, yep. can you impress me the most? I have a track record of, of game one point in all of these, so I really do not know. Well, you can only go up from there, hopefully, so... Let's see, I uh, hope so! Let's see what Ruxy managed to accomplish. Ah, oh, jeez, I have to, like, try and think of where I could actually get something. I feel like speed one skip sounds like the most logical way to go. Impressive could mean just about anything! The biggest problem is... It's in the eye of the beholder. Yes, and the beholder is the taskmaster. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's just like make this an entire freaking fireball showcase. Would make things a little bit sillier. Yeah, it's best to just like see what I can actually get away with just on just not playing the game as intended. Okay, maybe not. That's not quite impressive, as anyone would probably think. Bomb. I didn't even need to activate the flame power up and I snagged the orb. Nice. Let me see if I can also do another party trick over at uh, Aquaria. Leap up. I'm skipping stairs. That's impressive. And clean leap out the window like a horse in a race. Because who needs steps? I found the Reaper, but I also need to find the button. The button is not being found. Actually, you know what would probably be even more impressive? Just like doing this entire thing almost normally and just like getting oob out of bounds like out of bounds or like out of bounds or like out of bounds like out of bounds hopefully i uh, i can't see i can't speak words get him up i can break the game a bit more hog this side and break 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 and beat it ah i'm out of bounds i'm out of bounds i'm out of bounds i'm out of bounds i'm shooting sharks from out of bounds I'm shooting crabs also from out of bounds. I am an absolute destroyer. I think there's another party trick that I could also try and do. Try to get two of these at once. Try to get two of these at once. But I can't do it from here. Uh, I need to be very precise. Oh, I can't really shoot that far anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Did I get them both? Woo! Oh, I got them both at once. Yeah, let's go. Yes! That's another two far! Um, did I just leave some stones in the middle of the temple? What is this? Okay, we've definitely got a that's never happened before moment here. That is great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I am a... Uh... Oh, there goes the whistle. Nice. Yep. Thank you. No, that thank was... you. No problem. 
yeah, the logic I had here was to break the heck out of Spyro 2. And this is the thing, my, my coordination doesn't always work half the time, but I was actually very choked to see that sudden polygonal moment in uh, Fracture Hills. That is legit something that I had never seen before, even from just practicing 14 Talisman New Game Plus. So, okay, that is, that is something that is impressive in my book. <laughs> All right, uh, that was some um, interesting gameplay, at least. Yeah, I was I'm, trying. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna use the word impressive just yet. Well, we'll see if uh, if maybe that is reserved for one of the other contestants, or maybe not. We shall see. Alrighty then. Um, it's worth asking, Floa. Uh, what what in your eyes does the word impressive? Oh, that is a good question. What is impressive? Is it, I I guess it's a it's the same question as what is a train. I, it is actually only about two words in the same, so it's about it, half the same. So you're saying train. I could have shown you a monorail and won this task? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> well, you don't know. Maybe someone did. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe a train is impressive. Uh, I guess I guess for sure they, for Rob, they sure are impressive. They might You're not making... necessarily be positive impressive, but they are impressive on Rob. You're making me reconsider the game that I chose for the screenshot today, <laughs> but you'll see what I mean once you see my video. Well, uh, <laughs> but no, uh, what is impressive is certainly a very subjective uh, question. Uh, I believe uh, impressive is uh, something that I believe that I cannot uh, uh, achieve myself. That is something that I do believe is impressive. And do you think you could do these skips out of bounds? Um, New skill. I would say if I would put a lot of practice into it, I probably could. So uh, yeah. Right. Who do you want to see next? Uh, Boo. Alrighty then. Let's see what impressiveness Boo managed to achieve. Alright. Time to be impressive. I'm going to be impressive by playing Minesweeper and being good at it, hopefully. For those who may not be aware, this website here, Minesweeper.online, is a very good website because you can play Minesweeper as uh, Microsoft shipped it on Windows. And uh, yeah, it, it measures all kinds of stats like your speed. By the way, that was my first win. And for those who didn't know, I used to be in the top 30 in Canada. So I've been pretty good at this game. I've been known to be pretty good at this game. Although it's been a while since I've really played... By the way, that's the second win. It's been a while since I've played the game in any kind of serious capacity. So my skills probably have slipped and my ranking certainly has slipped too because people have kept playing without me. Okay, if the game could suck less, that'd be great. Okay, that's good. Two wins in a row, nice! And third win. I'm not sure how many wins I'm gonna be able to reach before the end of the timer, but I'm, I'm gonna try to accrue as much as I can. Cause you know, that's impressive. There we go, that's another win. Speed! I'm Flash McQueen, solving Minesweeper boards faster than I assume most of the people watching here. Although if you're good at it, please, let us know. Show us. You can share your replays with it with this thing too. It saves all the clicks you do and everything, so that was another win, by the way. You have two and a half minutes. Cool. I'm gonna keep winning games. I'm gonna do one last game and then I'll show you my current ranking and hopefully it's not embarrassing. Blah blah blah. These are good. There we go, that was another win. Nice! Let's just look at my ranking. Where am I? Four thousand 27th out of, well, 6.9 million people. That's not bad. In Canada, I'm... Oh, 81st out of more than 100,000. I am not disappointed. That's good. Let's just do some beginners while I have some time at the end to kill. Little teeny tiny boards. You may have seen these two in your childhood. I'm gonna try and squeeze as many wins as I can. Ah, there we go. Well, that was it. How many well, games did I win, actually? Oh, wow. One, two... 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 intermediate wins today. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 extra on beginner. Not bad. We take those. All right. Well, thank you for sweeping the mines. Thank you, Rob. All right. I can play Minesweeper. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Did you, Do you think that never that have was impressive, Rob? Uh, boo. I, I, I think in, in that stretch, I had about maybe four losses, all told. But I think that they were all 50-50s that you kind of have mm -hmm. to take. I, I, don't, I don't think I had any ones that I, that I intentionally or accidentally whiffed on them. So yeah, that was pretty good. I, I'd say I'm fairly good at this thing. Just a bit, just you know, just a tiny bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, um, yeah, I I do believe that. Uh, I mean, same also goes for Rexy. That uh, about probably most of chat could not uh, repeat that. I mean, it's it's probably proven that like about one percent of people maybe could do what I do. So, you know, and, uh, rankings and stuff. So that's, yeah, I, I would say that's a pretty strong portion of people that cannot do that. I, I haven't worked, done the math, but it's way less than a percent. So eh, I'd say that's cool. That's my like, own take on it. I also feel like based on my own experience, when you actually settle down to actually learn to play Minesweeper, you could just keep on pushing yourself and pushing yourself, even getting towards more impossible boards. So mm -hmm. there is a mentality that can go towards it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, same for skips too. Uh, the, the more you practice them, yeah. the more you're gonna get better at them and like be consistent on them. But yeah, I think th those were cool things. I'm happy with we got the, these both first. We got cool things. Yes, we did both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Zeb. What impressive gameplay did you prepare for me? Let's go ahead and see how Zeb managed the impressive. Whoo! Impressive gameplay. Where do I have impressive gameplay? I don't have time for thinking too much. I just have to act. We need to act. Let's see. I'm really rusty at this. That was not impressive. Okay, the problem is I can't talk much when I do this gameplay because I have to focus extremely hard. Okay, got another shockwave. Annihilated the boss. Stage 7, 8. What is that? Ah, oh, there's a freaking ring coming. Let's see if I can still do this. Let's see. Damn, if that wasn't impressive, I don't know what was. I think we're just gonna go straight into level 9 and see how far I can get in, in this time. Do I, do I have to tell exactly when the impressive part happens, or do you just decide what the impressive part is? All of the information is on the task. <sighs> Okay. Here we go. Dang, one stage without misses and without hits. Oh, can't believe I made it to two, le to two levels. I haven't played this game in s ages. You know, I really have to read this in real time right now. Usually you play these stages after you have learned them and uh, rehearsed them a ton of times, but I'm, I'm pretty much playing them in real time and, and interpreting, reading the level as it goes along, because I haven't played this in such a long time. I'm surprised how good I'm holding up so far. Whew, how much time do we have left? Four minutes. Okay, four minutes. Well, I think getting, getting there with only S rank so far, without practicing, is already pretty impressive, at least for somebody who knows Thumper. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go here. All right, let's see if I can still do this. And if I can do this in four minutes, that is, that is a way more important question. Ah, oh, and we survived this stage. Okay, surviving this stage without any practice. That was impressive. Okay, let me just see how far we can get in this level. Not very far, as we can see. Okay, and... All right, got it. So now, everything is out of sync, which makes this extremely hard. And I'm doing this kind of almost blind again. All right, I hope you enjoyed my uh, return to Thumper for a short duration. Well, thanks for that. I'm happy I could uh, entertain you. Damn, that was sight read. All right. Uh, 
sort of. I mean, I've played the levels a lot and they never change, so I still had a bit of it in my memory, but it, it kind of felt like reading them on the spot again. Um, yeah. Um, unfortunately for you, uh, I do not know much about Thumper. Dang it! I don't think anyone <laughs> does, but just oh, like yeah. a cool little game. <laughs> Well, uh, I will admit that it looked pretty cool, mm. but was it impressive? That's the question well, that is to answer. Well, well, that is the question that, of course, is for you to decide. Um, I think impressive does not only mean uh, something that is uh, that something that is very hard to perform and something that it takes a lot of practice, but impressive can also mean it looks hacking cool to look and it just looks hypnotizing to watch. And I thought maybe I'm banking a bit on the visual side. I'm going to stress this wasn't all too easy and I don't think every anybody could do this uh, as well as I did just there. Although there's, I, I'm, I'm like somewhere uh, in, the, in the lower part of the top 100 uh, global players, so uh, I'm nowhere near as good as the, the best people. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I still, I still think I wanted to to kind of please the uh, visual and the sense of a dramatic vibe with that, which also can be impressive on its own. That is certainly true. Uh, visuals do have a lasting impact. Uh, they do impress. Now, um, let's see what Prey said there for us. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Sure. But uh, she had to hurry back then. I could run Hot Wheels World Race. I'm not used to running it on keyboard, but I'll figure that out. I'll, I'll demonstrate deep game knowledge of uh, this one game. First of all, what you see there is a shuffle around that corner, and you'll see it again on this loop here. And this is essentially caused by hand braking while boosting. Uh, the game will try to correct your angle to be in the line of the boost panel, but it overcorrects when trying to return you to the position you were in. So the speed of the angle change is added to the speed of the boost panel, and you can blast right past the speed cap of around 200 miles per hour. And I will quit out and actually show you the loop skip. So the reason I need to quit out is because I need to change cars to uh, something with exposed tires. The reason for this is that exposed tires have a tendency to clip through bits of geometry. Let's see. There we are. Loop skip. Nice and easy. Now, is there anything I can have as an additional for that? Let's see. Yes, yeah, Sky Tropical. So this is a tech map which means that it uses only regular road elements and all of the difficulty comes in how well you are able to drift it. So here we are. I'm drifting around that corner with what's called a neo slide, which is when you drift around a corner or your, your back wheels kick out ahead of the front wheels during a corner. It is more difficult to uh, commentate while running this game, if only because it requires so many more inputs than World Race does per second. You can see actually through the input display, which I genuinely forgot that I had. It is equally difficult to try and run this game while a cat is trying to bother you. <sighs> PB! 5.3 actually, that's not an insignificant personal best. That's a, as good a thing I can do in that game. Yeah, I suppose a world tour probably would have been the best idea from the start, but... Selvi. Yeah, so this is a iron farm. Very simple, it's just a small village underneath there which constantly is being attacked by a zombie and that produces more than enough iron for our needs. This wool farm is a stack of sheep inside a pile of leaves that are periodically shorn and that produces way more leaves than we ever expected. Here we've got a uh, nice grid of pistons, note blocks and all sorts and this is for collecting specifically pumpkins. This also gets more than enough. Well, I suppose that was impressive for a sec. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. All right. So, Prezak tried to impress uh, not just with one game, but three games. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and I'll let my drink choice decide how well I thought I did in that. How about you? Well, that, that is a good question. I mean, three games... I mean, three games sounds more impressive than uh, just one game. 
to be fair, Deep came knowledge in three uh, three different games in 15 minutes. That was demonstrated to a, a reasonable level. I'm not like... I, I know the Trackmania community especially will be calling me out for all the many, many mistakes I made in that run because I'm not that deep into it yet. It can get so much further with things like Gorilla Grip and so on and so forth. But... With Minecraft, I wish I'd started a bit sooner on that because there are a lot more impressive like farms that I've built and designed actually on that world. Um, but I would probably put myself maybe third or fourth for deep game knowledge on uh, World Race. So take I mean, it that way you will. Because, because you're like one of the five people that play this game. I don't know. Of like, I don't know. A few dozen at least. Uh, and it's because I've put a lot of time into... Uh, presenting it at marathons, such as not bingo thon. Now it comes to mind because it's really hard to think of a bingo board for a racing game. Well, that does not sound very impressive, honestly. <laughs> I'm not. I didn't demonstrate bingo board design. I demonstrated gameplay. Come on, keep up, Floha. Keep up. <laughs> you demonstrated that there are literally dozens of us. Dozens of us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, let's see if uh, Nordic can uh, impress me. Uh, you'll never believe it, but Nordic had a bit of a different interpretation of that. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, uh -oh. Here we go. I'm trying to think of a game that I'm particularly good at that I could say is impressive. That's going to be tough because I'm not very good at anything. I think we might take this in a slightly different direction. Because impressive doesn't necessarily need to be good. Something can be impressively bad. You know what, I, I am gonna go with impressively bad. We're going to Wild Animal Sports Day. We're going to a game that does have some actual impressive gameplay if you can do it correctly. And boy howdy, this is just a fun one to, to play. Let's see, I think we need to be the giraffe. I think the most impressive game on here has got to be trampolining. Cause I mean, look at this impressive flips and twists that we're doing. My goodness. Oh, landed on my head. Be careful, you have a lot of neck to break. <laughs> exactly. It's impressive that he hasn't died yet. <laughs> It's also impressive that I can't read the, si the signals properly. 51%. We can do better. I mean, this is also always impressive. It's impressive that we can get a giraffe into a tutu. Never mind the alligator trying to come and eat me. 53%. A slight improvement. There's still more neck to break. Look at that score. You can't get any worse than all zeros. Come on, Rob, are you not impressed that a shark made it that high in the- I mean, it's not up to me if it's impressive. <laughs> fair, fair. Oh, I love how bad this game is. There we go, we'll, we'll go with one last one, which is the impressiveness of being able to drag the hurdles along with you. I mean, come on, where else are you gonna continue to do hurdles when they're stuck on your neck? Zero percent. There we go. I do believe that is my showcase of impressive gameplay. Impressively bad. Impressively weird. Uh, okay then. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, we just hit a potential new game to see at NSG next year. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, I'm looking forward to the full bingo rando. <laughs> I want bingo in this game. <laughs> All right, that, that show was a choice. Oh, it's, it certainly was. I, I, I went off of the, the, the definition of impressive, which is, you know, making or tending to make a marked impression. That's and, and certainly I, true. And, and I couldn't think of anything more impressionable or more... <laughs> more of a, uh, a a letdown to myself and to the world by <laughs> doing as poorly as possible <laughs> in uh, it's such a train wreck of a game. Oh, that is certainly <laughs> true. 
Now, uh, I do believe it's time for some points. Yep. <clears throat> I have no idea <laughs> what you're about to do. All right. I have a lot of opinions. The comments are going to love this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Chad is going to roast me. Yes. I bet Panda will. All right. <laughs> Especially. So, the most impressive gameplay was the most impressively stupid gameplay we've seen. <laughs> and that was for, definitely from Nordic. <laughs> It certainly over, had the, the most impression on myself. <laughs> Your plan worked. Congratulations. I, I aimed to please. <laughs> no, you specifically aimed not to please. Those, ju those judges were not happy. <laughs> but this judge those aren't the judges I was aiming for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I did a task never stated to be impressively good. <laughs> It, it, just, it, it just said impressive. It just needed to show some impressive gameplay. Um, yeah, four points go to Z. Um, yeah, I, I do believe the visuals and the gameplay uh, was certainly having a lasting impression. I'm glad they did. If you ever want to play the game, hit me up. <laughs> Um, three points go to Boo. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we, uh, we already talked about this previously. Uh, that is definitely impressive. Uh, I mean, I don't know anyone who can play my, uh, my sweeper that well. I'll take uh, that gladly. Uh, that was good. But, uh, yeah. Um, two points go to Rexy. Uh, those were some uh nice skips, certainly. Uh, the other stuff was just uh more impressive, and uh, one point goes to Prezak. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It didn't look that impressive. It's not about the look. It's about the knowledge flow. Hard. Look how much I know. That's how much you. Again, I deserve one point. That was trash. <laughs> I was going to say, the task was so impressive gameplay, not impressive knowledge. Yeah, yeah, I'm realizing that now. <laughs> ah, well. All right, well. Well, then, uh, well, let we us go. take a look. How does our scoreboard look like? Yeah, absolutely. So, I think Nord I have this feeling that Nordic is going to ace this again with the ways it's here. going. Nordic is definitely in the lead right now. Oh. Well, I would Nordic say was... that is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and Nordic was stouting himself all this time, and yet here we are, <laughs> making a comeback. All right, then. So shall we move on? Please. All right. <laughs> I didn't realize he was that master, but okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not the test master, I'm two just is, uh, Season 2 teaser? Yeah, maybe, <laughs> who knows. Uh, after Floha gets roasted up by the comments, you know. But, uh, <laughs> and now, I think it's time that we try to do something a little more educational for the children. <laughs> no! Hello there. Guten Tag, mein Freunde. Uh, I know speak a Deutsch. Das ist ne gut, mein Freund. Uh, Deutsch ist sehr gut. I also don't speak enough to make to a conversation. Too want task. Uh, jawohl, ich uh, lieber ein Tasken. That is not correct. That is not correct at all. Pretty task sure in easy. English. All okay. right, well, uh, I guess I'll manage. Uh. Create an alphabet book. Your alphabet book must feature 26 pictures, with each picture representing a different letter of the English alphabet. Most creative alphabet book wins. You have one hour. Your time starts when Rob blows his whistle. Oh, I'm right. gonna get one point. It's fine. So uh, uh, all they had to do was come up with twenty-six pictures, one for each letter of the alphabet. Uh, they had an hour to do so. Uh, 
rather than watching a compilation of them getting their pictures, we're just going to show your fair and finish uh, pictures from A to Z. Sound good? All right. Oh, sounds fine. This would have been painful if Pika's dropped the edit. <laughs> Hashtag oh, yeah. love Pika. All right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and remember, it is the most creative. So we want to be creative. Show a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. All right. Where should we start? Creative. Uh, I mean, this task is predominated uh, from A to Z. So uh, let's see how Z got on with this creative task. It's good if you just want to see... I think I still don't know exactly what an alphabet book is, and I'm happy to <laughs> find the answer by watching um, one of the other participants' uh, solutions to this task. <laughs> I should have probably Googled before starting taking screenshots. <laughs> All right. But they're in the German alphabet. Huh? Um, yeah. I had a hard time recognizing some letters. Some others were relatively obvious. Maybe a little too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first um, couple definitely threw me. Uh, yeah, I mean... So, uh, we, so we started with A, B, C in... Uh, what was that? Un un the unrailed. Unrailed. And then basically every other letter was all in one game. I noticed that one hour for 26 letters means you have a bit over two minutes per letter. And then I realized mm -hmm. if I try to do this in a more complex way, it's going to take too long. And I panicked and I just put on put out the next best level editor I, editor I could think of to just uh, get recognizable letters. If you could so, say it was a letter editor then. From my memory, Zet got about 25 of the letters in 45 minutes and then spent 15 minutes getting the letter of. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, the, the O was certainly impressive. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the task here anymore. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's literally the, the simple, most simple looking letter of the alphabet. I'm glad that I could uh, make that one impressive here. <laughs> All right. All right uh, uh, let's... Shall we show that what an alphabet look book looks like? <laughs> sure. Would probably help. What do we want to go to? Uh, let's go to Nordic. All right. Let's see Nordic's alphabet book, and uh, hope go. you guys enjoy the Taskmaster theme. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs>
Okay, first of all, Nordic, I love you for picking this star. That's one of my favorite <laughs> Mega Drive games. <laughs> this is this is some great aesthetic to it. So I leave, I mean that's my props for going in the uh, NSO library to pick out all of these. <laughs> Thank you. I, I went for a full 16-bit uh, assembly of games and choices for everything in there. And as you can tell, as we got to the end, I, I ran out of time. <laughs> I, I don't know I was... what you're talking about. It's a perfectly normal <laughs> book you have. Outside, yeah. sunshine, Zangief. <laughs> Zangief. Especially, let's not forget Zangief. I think, I think my favorite was everything is so wholesome. And then you get mm -hmm. T is for tank. Oh crap! You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, B is for butt. I mean, we didn't start that wholesome. <laughs> oh, I can find an actual children's book that B is for. Butt. That's fair. That's fair. Everybody. Probably poops. not. Oh crap! You're gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. Let's solid photos from Nordic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's uh, take and let's take a look at another alphabet book. Awesome. How about we take a look at Braceag then? Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Rocket. Perfectly ordinary to have the skulls of your enemies in a children's <laughs> book. Especially yes, uh, yes, as um, as nice or as uh, unprohibited as uh, Nordic's uh, picture book was, I think we found the complete opposite. Mental. Certain doom. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. genuinely forgot I did certain doom. That was a delight to see again. Yeah, or, or who doesn't know? No Backstabbing. <laughs> Nothing says children's Backstab. literature like nuclear war. <laughs> <laughs> I I will say that it didn't say a children's alphabet book. It just said an alphabet. No, this is strongly intended for nerds on the internet. Yes, I do believe. Work in progress, I work in progress my, came out of nowhere <laughs> from my brain. I do believe M might be my new favorite ladder. Yeah. Remind me. Monorail. Monorail. <laughs> I just wanted to make Rob sit through it again. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Rob, can you maybe answer us if a monorail is a train or not? Um. Hang on, let me think about that. Um, I mean, in the media, in the media, <laughs> <time, laughs> <we might as, laughs> nice. well, in just twenty days, we lost Rob. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well watch uh, Boo's uh, picture book. All right, let's go for it. Uh, let's see what Boo managed to accomplish with their alphabet book. <laughs>
Well, I think it's technically... had like every single kind of game I could have, and it just went poof. <laughs> <laughs> technically, you could have just said, "Why is for Yuka?" Because Lady wasn't even in the picture, was she? Yeah, she was. She is the the oh, bat. She's the bat. Yuka. Yeah, well, I didn't yeah. see her. Where was she? In the bat. I mean, vaguely behind Yuka, I think. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Then. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, it, it was valid. It was valid. <laughs> yeah, of course. I just thought that Yuka, w that lady, was in the picture, so I wondered why you nah. even mentioned her. I, I, I would not exclude lady like that. That's not. I'm not a lady eraser boy. Like, come on. <laughs> Inclusion for everybody. Inclusion for everybody. Of All course. right. Uh, including Minesweeper. Yeah, including Minesweeper. As I mean, often as he can, apparently. I, mean, I got it. By the way, the Hexagons game is also a Minesweeper game, but on Hexagons. But that was a secret, so you, you didn't know that before now. Now you do! What Minesweeper? <laughs> Couldn't help but notice a trend. We had Chess, Sudoku, Minesweeper. I might have done a best, a best of, of every game I've used on Taskmaster, which plus or minus a few of them, like wrestling. You may have seen that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's, sure it's all callbacks. I'm not sure this, but RuneScape's definitely come up before on uh, this channel. Oh, I mean, I, I also I have used RuneScape for the Get the Animal task. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah I, I, re I, really, I really went for it, you know, best of, and like, all, all of the greatest hits. So, yeah, <laughs> that, was my, that was my vibe. All right. Yeah, sure. Um, last but not least, I would say, let's take a look at Rexy's picture book. Alrighty well, then. This. Enjoy. The last time of this Taskmaster theme going to the end. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting no crops on some of these, but it's okay. <laughs> well, we'll just Hashtag blame it on the production Pika. team. No, it's okay. <laughs> Hashtag blame Pika. <laughs> no, I'm blaming you specifically, Rob. Wow. You could have stopped this. Eh, I could have, but oh. I didn't want to add more to Pika's plate. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well I just want to remind everybody that I am not an English native speaking person. And when I hear the word alphabet book, I think book about that contains the, the alphabet. alphabet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so just uh, trying to defend my position before I snack the one point right I mean, now. My first idea is French, <laughs> and I didn't do that. So, you know. <laughs> I will say one of my favorite things about this task was I forget who it was. I think it was Parade. What was your Z Zach? Uh That was, first of all, Z, you bloody American. Uh, secondly, <laughs> it was Zeb Stryker. Yeah, so I had Rexy do her alphabet book. You might have noticed that Rexy did the Z for Zeb Stryker. Yes, and, I did, uh, yes. Rezak was like, oh, I'll do a Pokemon. Was about to click on Zeb and was like, no, that's too obvious. Let's do Zeb Stryker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, and I lost it. I was like, 
Because you two were the first two to do it. I was like, what are the odds of the first two? Do zebras obstruct? <laughs> I want to say the only connection between two of the letters that y'all have today. I think Except I also saw worm in there. I, I also saw worm between me and uh, Nordic as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was maybe a double worm. Yeah. Yep. Yes, connected. and uh, hedgehog as well. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, hedgehog is, yeah. I, I was like going for anything that looked cute. Though I did realize something after making the thing. I thought that James Pond was a frog, but then I realized in hindsight that James Pond is actually a fish. Still cats for <laughs> air, though. It's just my brain not working that day. On, on the note of you fish, thinking, eh. on the note of you thinking, though, one creature is a certain animal, but it's not. Uh, something I found out after the fact about your O for ox. Uh, is that that's apparently not an ox. Uh, it is, in fact, a yak. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's all the same difference. I mean, Ooh. I was just shocked. I was like, I, I mean, it does look like an ox to me as well, but <laughs> I don't know if would be out of that. <laughs> but, you know, a yak is also a musk ox. <laughs> okay, so we've got three letters. You could maybe go there and aurochs so that day as well. Hmm. <laughs> But, uh, there you go, Floha. You have five alphabet books. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, let's let's get the easy, uh, let's get the easy one out of the way. The elephant in the room. Uh, I'm sorry, Zed. That but, one uh, point. <laughs> that is one point. You know, I mean... Uh, I I could also just give you no points for not doing the task <laughs> correctly. I mean... We didn't have, we didn't have it cut down. This was another one of those. All the information is in the task uh, uh, moments <laughs> that we had during the recording. Um, and I think like midway through making the alphabet book, it dawned on me that maybe I'm doing this wrong. However, at that point in time, I didn't have the time to actually uh, reset my book, and I just had to commit to the task now. So well. I will gladly take the one point uh, for that new set. I will give uh, five points to Nordic again. That's fair, the rhyming is uh, the For the rhymes. <laughs> they were definitely the most creative. Alrighty then. That it was pretty good, for sure, yep. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that one. <laughs> As for the rest of the pack, Let's put them all at three. All right. So, so that is okay. three for Boo, okay. three for Rexy, and three for Pereza. All righty then. They should get penalties for the repeat letters, but that's just me. <laughs> Not that again, Boo. We've already had that running into a sponsor already. This hey, Boo, this Boo. All of the information was in the tab. It yeah, it's not creative to repeat letters from the others. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say you couldn't. Nah, it's fine. Honestly, three points for each is just... It seems fair. They were all good. But, uh, Put him yeah, down the... one for being a mean bugger. <laughs> yes. As I mentioned, all the information was in the task. It was like when I saw Elora, I was like, the, the task didn't say, but I can't tell his paint doodle on it. Bosh, crown. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, fa the number of times you guys did copy each other on letters is absolutely ridiculous. It would be. Uh, on that note, Floha. Rob. Would you like to see some other ridiculous things? Uh, I would absolutely love that. Oh, perfect. Because I have a task for you. Is this ridiculous task? Oh boy, Rexy. Oh, uh, girly Robby. Oh, Berta. please don't call me that. I am ready. It's like Spongebob. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, I'll be proud of you once you complete this task, you ghost. Okay. Showcase the most ridiculous death. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. From impressive gameplay to ridiculous death. Now that oh I can boy. Do. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> So, uh, we're gonna... I mean, Nordic hasn't fallen that far. We're gonna watch some death and destruction here, Floha. But only the Oh, I would love nothing stuff. more. <laughs> Foreshadowing, boo. 
Uh, I can tell you that uh, all five deaths, in my opinion, are ridiculous, but which one is the most ridiculous? That is going to be up to you. So, uh, where should we begin, Floha? Uh, the ghost. I can die first. <laughs> you already died. Fair. <laughs> let's start with Rexy. Alrighty then, let's do Rexy's ridiculous death. Hmm, okay. I mean, I guess Crash is full of ridiculous deaths. That's the first thing I'm just like suddenly thinking of. I wonder if I can recreate that one kind of death in Insane Trilogy, which is like, uh, slam into a object and then end up immediately in freezing water. That is literally an achievement in NST. Maybe I could do that. I'm sure I'll find somewhere where I can just, uh, trip up over a barrier. And maybe not do that. I mean, there's one idea of a death, just drop into icy water, but I think that would just be very normal. Okay, that's just very ordinary, because that's a flat pillar near no water. Oh, I see. I see what you're doing there. Slam! Get in there! I caught the ice, jumped up into the air, and slammed straight into water. That was literally the achievement in NST. So that's one idea for a very ridiculous death. The other idea I have is going to require a bit of trickery, I guess. I'm going to require some real idol trickery and an and a nitro crate if that happens. The reason why I need Coco in particular, because only her death animation is meant to trigger this. I don't know if this has been patched or anything. I mean, there's the nitro. Then by hitting the checkpoint, which is as close as possible. And then I guess I'm just playing the waiting game. It's an idol animation that I'm waiting for. Requires her to pull a phone outside of her pockets. Okay, maybe not necessarily a dance. Sure. Really. I want to see the phone explode. Come on! Yeah, cool. He's taking a lot of pictures. I know. It's nice. We're not in a safari or anything, Coco. The sparks! Yes! <laughs> it can't get more ridiculous than just leaving your controller alone while standing next to Nitro and all of a sudden the, the phone explodes and sets them off and kills you with it. I really don't know what else can be actually seen as more ridiculous when it comes to crash settings, but I think the one with the exploding phone against a whole bunch of Nitro crates would have to be the one that would end up submitting. Of course, no death is ridiculous in Crash without getting smacked into the camera, like so. Which just feels kind of normal in comparison now. A lot more of the more the gruesome deaths are definitely in Crash 4, but I'm struggling to actually remember what would end up being the most unusual ones to execute. Come on, show me your sword. Show me your sword. Boo, I just get Angel! Okay, I guess, I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna have Exploding Phone as the sub. Okay, yeah. thank you, Rexy. No problem. Death by Idol animation, that's a new one. <laughs> I can't say I've ever seen that happen, yeah. <laughs> that is uh, certainly a thing. Yeah. yeah, so imagine just like being a, like a six or seven year old playing a 3D platformer for the first time and you leave your control <laughs> just next to something that could just flat out explode if you flat out touch it, silly. And then after you've just like done your homework or eaten your dinner or anything like that, you come back to see that you lost a life and you're standing near a checkpoint and you're like, how did I get here? <laughs> Oh, that say, is indeed the question. Uh, they had 20 minutes on this task. Rexy was standing there waiting for this idol animation for about half that time. Wow. <laughs> I was, yes. And, it's that man. As someone, who had, was not with as someone who had never heard of this idol death before, I thought Rexy had lost her damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> and until I saw it with my own eyes and realized how much of a fool I was. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, haven't we all lost our mind in some way or another? I think we have all done, I yes. Especially on this show. <laughs> but uh, there you go. That's my idol animation <laughs> triggering an explosive. Nordic, no. <laughs> I think Nordic is trying to prove a point. <laughs> Uh, why don't you prove your point, Nordic, by showing us your most ridiculous stuff? All right, let's see Nordic's <laughs> ridiculous stuff. <laughs> okay, the most ridiculous death. I like this idea, actually. I've got a couple thoughts popping through my head. None good yet, but we'll we'll see. 
I suppose it doesn't have to be my own death. It's just a death, right? So, well, I've got 20 minutes. I can think about this a little bit. I don't have to rush into anything. I could showcase this gem of a game, but I don't think I will. Yeah, I think, I, I think we're going to do this in the long drive. Because this is a fun game if you've never seen it before. And the, the, the way that you can die here is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just start a new seed here. And the deal with this game is you need to, you know, get yourself down the road, basically, as far as you can. It's like an endless driving simulator. And all the controls are manual. Like, you grab something and then you have to push it. Nothing, like, yeah, nothing is easy in this game. There's no, like, oh, click to open the door. It's, yeah. And as you can see, the world kind of sucks, but there's a couple ways to die in this game. You can drink too much alcohol. Let's see here, left mouse button, drink. There's nothing in it, I think. Yeah. You can die by bunny rabbits, but one of my favorite ways is if you go down this hole, you can get a broom. And if you don't screw up the controls too badly, Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, 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 there we go. You can ride it. So, we're going to, well, we're going to try and get some altitude here. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting some altitude. Oh, we were. Oh, here we go. And... Cratered. So that is my ridiculous death. Starting a game about driving, finding a magic broom, flying into the air, and falling to our death. All right, so that's our submission. That is our submission. All right, then. I'll stop the clock. Why is there a magic broom in a game about riding? I mean, doesn't your driving game about surviving in a post-apocalyptic wasteland have a magic flying broom? No. <laughs> it didn't look like Arizona. Loa, maybe. I, well, yeah. I mean, wait, there's a difference. Loa, I think that's the part where this game is actually a spinoff of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter in the Wild Wild West, von Arizona, von Wendy, drum, whatever the German game. <laughs> These are double intense, but it's still a uh, fall from, I mean, a, a death from falling down from a high height, but uh, it would be the it, means to get up there that would end up defining it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a game where otherwise you can't get to a high height. It, it's a driving game about keeping mm. your car alive. <laughs> All right. Well, um... who do we want to see die next? <laughs> that sounds so mean. <laughs> but let's see uh, how uh, Zet's death looks like. Alrighty then, Zet. Let's see how you die. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The most ridiculous death. Okay, so it means it, uh, you have to see a character actually performing the death and not just a dead character. At least that's my interpretation of the rule. The problem is I have so many ridiculous games that I get choice paralysis. Could that actually work? Huh. Let me scroll through my list of games real quick. I have an idea. I should be able to figure out a ridiculous death in that game. Okay, what is the most ridiculous death we can get here? Let me think. I know, 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 I know. Of course it's the one with the, with the longest way to get there. It's fine. Okay, that one off. Alright, 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 alright. That was certainly a ridiculous death, but not the one that I was aiming for. Oh, I I might even be do, able to do multiple ridiculous deaths and then decide which one to choose. Okay, we're gonna try and go here. Alright. Well, if that wasn't ridiculous, I don't know what was. Let's do it again. Ah, that was too soon. <laughs> okay. There we go. That was a very ridiculous death. Yeah, and then we're gonna do here. That could be even more ridiculous. 
I forgot how the setup for this is. Let's go. It's fine. Ah, can't perform tire skip under pressure anymore. Okay, I think that one is even more ridiculous. Let's do it one more time. Come on, I just want to get a better one. Now! Okay, that was really ridiculous. I fell down, back, backwards momentum, into the pond, and then the tire even rolled over the boy. Okay, that's ridiculous. I think that's a ridiculous death. That is my task. Okay, I've stopped the clock. All right. Um, we're uh, that we are certainly some aggressive tires. Yes. Welcome to Limbo. Um, well, we're we're not gonna ask where those tires were coming from, and why. From the tire. A very from. angry fire. One of these I can reply to. For the other one, I do not have an answer. <laughs> the why question has never been asked, uh, answered for Limbo, and I'm pretty sure that apart from the game's lead designer, nobody actually knows. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there was certainly a nice fling, and then getting crushed by the tires underwater. I also need to stress that these were the deaths that are not intended from the game. So these were all stuff that I have uh, learned during my speedrunning career. And uh, I think they look ridiculous because they are look so out of place because they are. So I was happy to pull off the fling back and falling in the pond, getting squished by the tire. So uh, very happy I could show this off here. One we could even say it was impressive. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, but yeah. was it a point? <laughs> well, we're gonna use that word quite a lot more, huh? <laughs> what is a train? What is impressive? Yeah. Is a train I impressive? Mean, those questions are basically the same. <laughs> All right. Well, you have two um, more you can look yeah. at. Who do you want to go to next? I mean, let's see how Prairie Sag dies. All right. Take then. a look in the future. Interesting. It's pure RNG if I can get it, but if it does, it then yeah, I'll go down in history. What I need to do is start a new Crusader Kings file and play as a dwarf. Preferably a dwarf with many children. But then I'm waiting on a semi-rare event, I think? So there is an event in the game which is a reference to Dwarf Fortress, hence why it only occurs to people with the dwarfism trait. And it can result in either player death or the death of a courtier. I'm not sure how rare it is though. Quebec. Dwarf, there it is. I'll give myself nine sons. Here's our boy Thomas. He will be our protagonist. <sighs> and now we wait and hope for the best. One eternity later. Oh, I may be underestimating how frequent or how difficult this is. Oh, I've really made a rub my own back with this one. Come on, how hard is this? All I want to do is be eaten by a fish. Go for a couple more minutes, but then I'll uh, go for a backup plan. I don't think that was taking me anywhere. I'll have to go for a another one, and I do have an old standby that I can make use of. That's the benefit of having an initial plan that doesn't work out, is that you have a lot of time to plan a contingency. Let's build just a simple structure out of grass, uh, and this needs to be <coughs> fences. I place magma here. Okay, and then there it is. If only someone had some sort of way to tell what letters went where. Uh, snowballs. Okay, now set myself to survival mode. Damage me by 18. And again by 4. Okay. <coughs> Prosec walked into the danger zone due to llama. Thank you and good night. 
You have seven minutes if you want to experiment with anything else. Yes, uh, why not? Let's go back to that, that dwarf and see if we can't get anything to go. We've got the time. Yeah, there's a soft cap in this game for how many children you can have, but you can bypass it by repeatedly seducing uh, your wife, uh, as that activates the event of laying with your wife. And every time you lay with your wife, there is a chance that you have a child. I don't feel like I need to explain further. Uh, I ask that you don't. All I want is a rare harm event to tr tr trigger. Is that so much to ask? Time should be coming up pretty soon, I reckon. Uh, 13 seconds. Yeah. So unless I get obscenely lucky with the next couple months in-game. So here's a fun fact for you. Turns out the specific harm event, and it's a reference to Dwarf Fortress, dwarves, and especially young dwarves, are susceptible to being eaten by a koi pond. Um, it's <laughs> a reference to Dwarf Fortress. They made that event a lot more frequent in a recent update that came out about a week after we recorded that. <laughs> I've been going to be eaten by a fish, though, but it's... Oh. <laughs> So instead, uh, I walked into the danger zone due to llama. <laughs> yes, I also walked into the danger zone due to llama. Oh, those wait. llamas, they'll get you. <laughs> yeah, those, uh, those llamas are very scary indeed. Shout out to Mumbo Jumbo, who is the first person I saw to show that off. <laughs> or at least where I learned it. Well... Uh, I, I guess now we, we just need to watch uh, the person that already died. Yeah. I'm gonna re die. Uh, how, should, we, should we find out Boo's origin story? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Alright. Let's. Uh, oh, I. Wait. I almost clicked on the wrong video. Wait. I almost clicked on the wrong video again. Here we go. <laughs> you know where to. Oh, that's good. That's so good! <laughs> Alright, I found it. Because the death doesn't have to be me, it just has to be the most ridiculous death. So what I'll do, I'm gonna 360 a dude. That's gonna be a ridiculous way to die. With a dodgeball after a 360. Hey, there we go! 360! Alright, so that's, for now, my tentative most ridiculous death from a 360. If I go for a 2v2 and then get a catch... Oh, if I get a catch plus kill, that's funny. Godlike! Hey, there we go! Let's do it again. For content. Hey! <laughs> I did it twice! Alright, that's good. Okay, so these are ridiculous deaths. Do I have anything better than that? We'll do something dumb. So my plan is, I'm gonna take my character who's finished the game, and I'm gonna get them killed by, like, the first enemy of the game. It's gonna take some time, but I think I can. I have enough time to do it. Also, for reference, I'm level 73, and of course the enemies begin at level 1, so I'm gonna attempt to die by a level 1 character. So these guys are level 1, I'm gonna let them kill me. Oh no, I died! <laughs> what a shame. Also, j just for reference, because I want the people to know, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna be butt naked, I'm just gonna smack them once and they're both gonna die. Like, this is how strong my character is compared to them. Alright, so we're back on that same island, I died exactly here. I'm gonna unequip, or actually, I know that there is some equipment that is detrimental. <laughs> and I'm slow, and I'm just gonna sneeze on them. Achoo! Like, these guys are so bad. <laughs> Even when I'm butt naked, they're still gonna take a long time to kill. I can just... So yeah, that was a ridiculous death, because it was way too long by literally the first enemies of this game. Alright, then. Thanks, Boom. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, those detrimental things, I... Boo, I think you have lost your mic. Is it just me? Oh, no, we it might have lost Boo's oh, voice. Hi, okay, hello, oh, mate, microphone. Hello. Sorry, <laughs> my microphone is a bit finicky, so what I was saying while I was forcefully muted, but okay, those enemies, and with those debuffs, I calculated they 
basically give minus 75% to all stats, and they still died in, well, four hits of just everything being the worst possible. So yeah, they're, they're bad, and they just, they kill me. Oops. If only there was some way to prevent this. If only I could have done something to prevent that, but sadly I, I couldn't. I'm not good enough to play, so yeah, that's why I'm a, I'm a ghost. I got killed by two level one dudes. If only you didn't forget to pause. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that would have been... Oh, shame. Well, they killed me. Whoops. Alright. All right. So those are five ridiculous deaths. But, uh, let's hear your judgment. Alright. I'm actually pretty pretty clear clear set on this for once. Oh, okay, yeah. sure. That's uh, very surprising. All right, let's uh, let's go from the bottom up. This time for real, no interruptions. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, one point goes to Boo. Um, I mean, I don't know. They just you just took. Five minutes to get beaten up by a bunch of under, uh, under-leveled enemies. No Happy one did that, all of us. but that's fair. Um, two points uh, go to Nordic. I mean, you fell off a room from high up. Well, about Happens 20 to the best of us. <laughs> In a game that should not have a broom <laughs> or elevation <laughs> ages. Best of us. <laughs> Those who have not fallen off from a broom uh, from a broom of high height should know the first stone. And two for Nordic. <laughs> um, three points. Uh, we are giving to Pro Asac. Whip. I mean, walked into the danger zone due to llama. That's not even proper English, let alone a proper death. <laughs> I mean, apparently it is. <laughs> All right. But uh, between Rexy and Zap. Uh, yep, yeah, four points go to Z. I mean, certainly gag. <laughs> 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 tires and then getting crushed by them underwater. I mean, come on. I'm happy for that. And I mean, uh, I do believe we gotta give uh, we gotta give the five points to Rexy. Oh, yeah. uh, getting uh, death by idle animation is <laughs> certainly something. <laughs> Absolutely uh, deserved. There we go. One to three GG's. to Nordic, GG. three to Prozac, four to Zet, and five to Rexy. All right. So, how does this affect our scoreboard? Well, you might notice quite a few changes here. So, Nordic continues Ooh. to be at the top. Rexy's much more caught up with the rest of the pack, though. But Nordic is still quite a bit ahead. But Ooh. we have a live task. Ooh. So, <laughs> what, uh, what we can make happen. So uh, give us a little bit of time as we get set up for our live task.
Oh, oh nice now ads. we get four ads. Are Wonderful. you kidding me? We're getting ads. Beautiful. Ads. Oh, look oh, at you, ads. nerds, not turning off adverts. Can you turn off adverts? Oh, I don't know. I've never turned them on. It's funny because yeah, know, I... I just had all the streams up and then oh, Rob to subscribe subscribed to me. So you know what's better than yeah. one ad, but four. But uh, as you can <laughs> see on Troy's X screen, at least. Uh, yeah. We are in Pokemon Emerald, a wonderful game. I also am realizing suddenly that I do not have any of their audio. In the well, meantime, uh, no let us that, have... Let's go ahead uh, and get going. Let us have Prasek read out our task. All right, here it is. Hmm. Catch Pokemon for the Taskmaster. Every round, the Taskmaster will give you a certain criteria that your Pokemon must have. Last to get their Pokemon each round is eliminated. Each round is a maximum of 10 minutes. Oh, okay. All right, so oh. uh, Flo will give you some sort of criteria. You need to make sure you catch a Pokemon within the time limit. If you fail to catch a Pokemon in the time limit that meets the criteria, or you are the last to do so, you are eliminated. Does that make sense? Yep. Can I just take the one point and get done with it? Uh, you <laughs> know, right. you, you, everyone has a shot at this. Uh, All right. Then. Uh, with that being said, Aloha. Would you like to give them the first criteria? All right. Uh, your first criteria is to find a Pokemon with no legs. All righty then. No legs. And with that, your time starts now. All right. All right no legs. Okay. No legs. The last time I played Pokemon, it was uh, uh, Blue Edition, so I. Oh. How do you? I even see what you did there, thing? Rob. Oh. Gods, Rob, what have you done? <laughs> Some of you have realized a couple oh, that's of interesting funny. things hey. about this Rob. At least it's uh, symmetrical. What? I will uh, okay. inform you all at this point that the Pokemon have been randomized, but the map has also been randomized. Oh, interesting. Two. Okay, let's. Uh, I, I will probably... also tell you that the catch rate should be set to a hundred, meaning a ball Wait. is guaranteed to catch it. Oh, bloody no hell! Legs. I've been. Octopus has multiple legs. It's not a hundred. I just failed one. Uh, well, I thought it was a hundred. My apologies. Well, rip. I'm just going to try again. Are we allowed to reload the save state if we need to? For the fun of it? Sure, I'll allow it. Okay, thank Otherwise, you. Otherwise, you might run out of Pokeballs really quickly. <laughs> I'm thinking of running out of help really quickly. And if you said the map is randomized, could it also be like with a Pokemon Center? I just walked in and out of the same place. Lovely. So smart. Oh. Oh, this kind of has like Dang it. This is okay there, you're right. This is a cave area, right? Oh, it's not. Uh, there are no mm. Pokemon there, Prozac. Damn. <laughs> Golfing. Golfing has no legs. There we go. I think. Oh, that? God, that's this, a. This one doesn't. There, have... yes. no legs. All right, Boo has caught I... something with no legs. That is uh, true. Uh, Sorry. Uh, yep. I can nope. confirm that. Yep. Oh, the Golfing oh. counts. All right. I think uh, I have something that can work uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> this, these are legs. Uh, this is gonna be controversial. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna keep that safe because I'm already down to two Pokeballs. But you know, I think I know why you're saying it's controversial now. <laughs> why can I not escape? What are these attacks? What do they do? Oh, so... all right. To the best of our knowledge, Diglett has no legs. <laughs> Yes. Therefore, Rexy we will count has the diglet. We we count the nice. diglet. All right. So Boo and Rexy are good. 
cool one. There's artillery of legs. I suppose they're tentacles. It has tentacles. Uh, I'll count. Oh, I, no, 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 right. no, 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 please. So that's no, three. No, I don't want it. I don't care. Need between Nordic and I... that. Yeah. Why does the... I don't want you to learn anything. Say Just... no and then yes. <laughs> yes, stop. Oh. Yes, say no then yes. This game, yeah. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> yeah, this Debatable. sucks. Okay, <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. Thing. Pokemon Center. Can I heal it here? What? Those oh. of you who have entrance the randomizer. Cast, you are free to oh. walk away. Oh no! No wonder you guys couldn't hear me this whole time, could you? Oh wait, there's an entrance I haven't checked here. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I, I asked ages ago. Does a caterpie have legs? Yes. It does. Yes, it does. Caterpie Shit. Has legs. <laughs> oh, this is good. I was wondering when you were gonna ask. I asked like within a, the first minute. <laughs> If you're muted, that's your problem. Yeah, yeah, my mic changed on me for reasons. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that is good what news. What is in there? Okay. Are we allowed to have the same legless Pokemon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's... <laughs> that is a Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I cannot heal at home, apparently, because it's too early into the game. Since well, when is there... When I'm gonna reload game? the state. I'm getting yeah. a lot of repeat checks. <laughs> I will say, I did not scout this seat out at all, so... Come on, please don't have legs. Oh, yeah. These are oh, legs. Oh, it's the one that's basically pointless. Pokemon we are... Why not? We're about half <laughs> yeah, but it's time. not a good one. Oh well. I'm just gonna mess around. Still, it's a lot of checks. Oh my goodness, in the Biniaqua Hyda, I'm not finding anybody here, especially with this tiny score check. Oh! Out my way, small child. Well, did I already do this one? That'll help me yes, the next round. Victory Road. Mm. Yeah, I'm not Victory sure. Road? That's a bad place to be. <laughs> Isn't it? Could be. Check this one. Well, be they never asked for this. That's the third naval rock check. What? What is the scene? I man? do not. Yes, I. Oh, hello. hello. Contestants have left to catch a Pokemon without legs. They have about four minutes. Oh, I've just. These are legs. Oh no. Get in the ball. Oh, that's one way. Get in the ball. No. Come on. Can you not escape? <sighs> so much for your 100%, Rob. <laughs> I, yeah, 100% sucks. I, I use four balls for one. I'm just saying, I could have sworn <gasps> it was the setting I had set it up. At the very least, it should be. When are we, are, are we allowed to just reel out the safe state? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Sea King has been caught. I, last I checked, King. fish don't have legs. That is. Uh, that is uh, Ask an etymologist. Too. Meaning that this first round is now over, that you have been eliminated. All right. Phew. Thank God it's over. <laughs> Thanks. Alrighty, fish. Fish. All right. <laughs> Uh, do uh, your, you are uh, starting place again? Uh, I love them this. Fascinating. For, for Isaac, you might want to reload <laughs> oh, your. No. Uh, thing yeah, there. I was hoping to not have to do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I will give you the choice. You can either uh, try to defeat the champion. Defeat the champion with a level five Torchic and a level four artillery. You're uh, going down, Wallace. Is that where you want to continue from? No, it is not. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and reload this. Perfect. All right, then. All right. I see all our contestants are back to their starting positions. Perfect. Some of us have right. less Pokeballs than the other, but okay. If you want to reload the save, Rexy, to get those Pokeballs back, you can. Well, I'm going to lose the Diglett, but that's fine. That's, I can do won't, that. 
I will say, previously caught Pokemon are ineligible for the current one. All right, there okay. you go. Let's it has to be a new Pokemon nope. caught each way. If you yeah. want to re-catch the same species, I'm fine with that, but... Oh, okay. We're not species closing it. But All right. you have to uh, catch a new individual. Is right. everyone ready? I have my five Pokeballs back, yes. Let's go. All right. Next up, I would like for you... Uh, to catch me a psychic Pokemon. And go. God dang it. I've still got to check. Yeah, hmm. that psychic. Okay. All I right. Will, I will help you if you tell me the name of a Pokemon. I can tell there you. There is a is button to Pokemon. speed up. Oh, yeah. It's the dragon type. Th okay. There is a run oh, button. Geez. Yes. <laughs> wow. I did not know that. Yes. I, yeah, I do not know my Pokemon very well. So, well, if it looks like a psychic type, you can certainly ask me. I'll give you yeah, a fairly certain that Jolteon is not psychic. Jolteon is not a psychic type. Yeah. <laughs> I've ended up at I need to check Bobopedia. <laughs> uh, I can also help uh -oh. you with identifying. Rob yeah, but if I ask you, then then it is, is this Cloud Sheep psychic? No. <laughs> Thank no. you. Uh, for Zach, that is psychic. I'm. Yep. That's not what I want. <clears throat> and you said there were adjusted uh, catch rates, right? It should be. Okay. I'm I'm starting to think that instead of doing the hundred percent, I did the one in three. So it's like every three Pokeballs, one. Got it. Belled him. Psychic type. Psychic right, steel. Probezak has a psychic type. All right. Maybe you just need to hold down a. Uh, uh... Right on the D pad and A during the Pokeball animation, and then it's a higher chance. <laughs> no, it's the it. shoulder buttons, man. The shoulder buttons. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. I, the, literally, the last Pokemon game I played was Pokemon Blue Wait. on my Game Boy I Pocket. Mean, so mm -hmm. I didn't have shoulder buttons. Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it. So in class, we told each other you have to, uh, I think, press right and A or something. Now you have to rhythmically do the uh, shoulder buttons every time oh. it shakes. Yeah, oh, and you, you, you have to mash the B button. You have to look I under the be, look under the truck, it. right? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't, because my first game was gold. Um, old. Hey, Belgum. All right, there you go. That's a psychic. Also has a psychic type, meaning we are down to Nordic Whee. versus Rexy. Yep. CX? And I'm just finding crap. <laughs> I think we no, all. No, I'm one been. letter short. <laughs> all right, I'll remove the space. I'm gonna keep my window minimized because I hate re having to reload and double click every time. Just so sorry for the stream thing. I can enlarge that. Ah, uh, there you go. Large. I don't Large. care. Large. <laughs> Rock and then just in case, back. I'll take it to the Pokemon Center right now about. Is it north or south? How does this wild Blastoise have sacred fire? <laughs> uh, no game. The same Why way not? that your rival, uh, fun fact, has a mud kit with muddy water. <laughs> <laughs> was nice. a very difficult That's fight funny. I had to win. I'm going to take the opportunity to heal on here. Can't escape. All right. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> oh, that attack heals you. Oh, interesting. That's another yeah, victory road Ghost entrance. Mm -hmm. All right. How long do Nordic and Rexy have left oh, to this... catch a psychic Pokemon? About six minutes. This... Rob? Mistrevious? That is a ghost type, not a psychic. God. Pardon me while I just farm for possibly useful items. Oh. <laughs> Hardstone, that's not helpful. <laughs> I got a timer ball on my second check. That was pretty good. <laughs> Smoke ball, nope. I mean, unless I run, run into a wob of hurt or something. <laughs> I think that's what it does, right? Smoke ball lets you escape. Smoke ball lets you run away. Yeah. TM12. Huh. 
did not think TM would come up in this, but I believe the moves are randomized. <laughs> I mean, fact, if you want to use them, go ahead. The setting you have <laughs> not going to stop you. Uh, Absol. Absol. I actually have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's just Absol. dark type then. Yes. Uh, okay. Is definitely dark. Yeah, it's pure dark, not just dark. Like, sorry. Dark. No, that's fine. Want to type? What? Okay. Hey, what that's not gonna be that kind of type is dark. Fire is not yellow usually, right? <laughs> uh, Zangus isn't, Zangus. right? Zangus is normal. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought Pyrus is more yellow. Type is normal. Uh, it's just a normal type. I don't know what to tell you. That, it's boring. That's that, what it is. That, that is about <laughs> the world of Pokemon. Are they even trying anymore? What is nope. going on? Okay. Are they even trying? Rexy and I are running around in the grass like crazy, trying to find anything. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I wasn't know, asking. Like... If you're not able to find something where you are, perhaps going to other. Oh, I've been. I've been moving to different patches like crazy. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well... Gonna... I just want to make sure... I didn't uh, mean that the, the players aren't even trying. Oops. I meant are the developers even trying Who, anymore with thinking of things... <laughs> creative things in Pokemon. <laughs> what? Salamance is a dragon type, right? Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. Um, Rob, yeah. help! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have broken the game. Uh-oh. Poison, what have you done? <laughs> I've made it to him. I'm sharp. <laughs> How did you do that? I'm just going to leave the cell and hope for the best. Now, Zed, what what are you going to do when we tell you there is a fairy type? I'm going to ask if you can catch them and use them to revive Pokemon after they died. <laughs> this isn't Zelda. <laughs> Actually, there is a Pokemon that can do revives now, isn't there? As a Gen 9. There's a move that can do that. Yeah, but... You know, that move is pretty much species exclusive. Yeah. Can't remember which one though. I don't think it's fairy, but I'm not positive. Alright. And with that, I think Rexy Rexy has caught the third Beldum. Just as Nordic finds a psychic type. Oh, this oh. is a psychic oh, one? No. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yes, oh. that is a psychic type, but well, well sort of a bit. Oh, no. just a little slow on it. Yeah, well. Uh, you have been eliminated. Unlucky. Not, not like it does any damage to you. You've had, when, already had a lot of Where did you points. find that Latios or Latios or whatever South. that was? South. South of town. Yep. <laughs> wait, South. Does, yeah, wait, that isn't Route 101. Hmm, I realize okay. that I this time where I can be showing on screen. Whoops. All right. Well, All right. Back to, to your starting three. positions, please. Oh, back to starting um, positions, okay. Oh, yes. uh, yeah. I'm gonna slow the state again. We're waiting for Brasek to make it back Sorry. to their Sorry. starting position. All right, there we go. I started wandering right. towards the health. Uh, All right, everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All Coming right. Uh, please find a Pokemon that weighs more than 160 pounds, which is 73 kilograms. Okay, yep. I'm gonna have to Wikipedia, Bulbapedia this one. Or oh, I thought the timer would count down. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, more than 73, you said. Well, 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 how many pounds can we have the number again? That's an new 73 pounds. 73 kilograms, 160 oh. pounds. Uh, oh, 160. Yeah. 160. Okay, 160 pounds, 73 kilograms. My bad. Okay, I think I may have an idea. I can More Google than that. Pokemon as needed. Oh, you're new. Yeah, Booyah, first baby. First check. Powerful one you got there. How heavy are you? Nope, oh. too light. First trick, first, first ball, baby. All right, Proezak has one. Hypno, 75 Hypno? kilos. Oh, really? Dang. 
I wouldn't have expected him though to be that. Well, you should probably check it to make sure, we right? Because they did. can vary. We did. Okay. Yeah, I caught vary. something as I caught something as well. He said over seventy five. Uh, Golem, about... Golem weighs 600 pounds, so yes, it is over yeah, 70 pounds, totally <laughs> meaning yes. that was very quick, but Boo, Damn it. they That's were not none. very That's fine. on that one. Alright. Oh. I found a Paris again. Mm. <laughs> I think that's not 70 no, pounds. It's, it's so light, it's super light. Alrighty then. Well, we are down to Proezak versus Rexy for the five. What do you mean? I already got one. Right, and Rexy didn't For the next yeah, round. Last round. It's the right. final round, Paul. Right. Like, Sorry, I thought you meant. No, we're this on the last round, round now. It's a okay. dance this oldest back time. To your starting position, <laughs> please. Yep. Um, let me get back to my state again. That's this one. Also, get out of DC for Kevin Poizak. I don't think that'll be handy here. It's where I found the hypno. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Be careful with the information you share. You never know when you're going to want to go back there. Uh, yeah, I've spent a lot of time in round one finding all the different entrances. Found a Pokemon Center, that's neat. Alright, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Hit me with it. Alright, unfortunately Boo has been eliminated because uh, he just has the Pokemon up already that <laughs> would uh, add him uh, the win in here. Uh, no, wait, sorry, my bad. I was say, still looking at the wrong text in here. Uh, um, we are looking uh, at a Pokemon that a Pokemon species, to be precise. Yeah. Not that you go and nickname the Pokemon with anything like that. A Pokemon that be uh, ends with the letter M. In oh. English. M? Did you say M, M as in Mickey Mouse? M as in M, Mickey yes. Mouse. Go. Yes. M as in monorail, as we have learned. God <laughs> <damn>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Who will catch a Pokemon that ends... <laughs> With the letter M first. As in monorail. Proezak has a big list. Exactly. Because, well, well, sir, there's the nothing on earth like a genuine, bonafide, electrified six car monorail. 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 <laughs> I hear those things are awfully loud. It glides as softly as a cloud. Is there a chance to track a bend? Not on your life, my Hindu friend. <laughs> What's a reference? What is that? From the Simpsons. Simpsons. Marge vs. the Monorail, season three, I think. Ah. It's it's yeah, it's early Simpsons. <laughs> and that's where you would learn that what mono equals one and rail equals How rail. many the checks monorail. are in this bloody patch of grass? The monorail like too many. is on 50. a rail. <laughs> I assumed it was like uh -oh. Uh -oh. Why do you have Oh I assumed it was two per grass, like normal. Oh no, there's at least like five. I counted five in Three patches. Let's go see. Wait, what did that just say? Rexy. Oh, hey, good job, Rexy. Oh, right. We have a winner for Ooh. life task. Rexy with the back to back golems. <laughs> Damn uh, it. Yeah, there we go. Well done. So that'll be four Fuck. points for Probezak and five for Rexy. Dang. Uh, that psychic one was very close. I knew it'd be a load of checks, but my gosh. Props to whoever. Uh, props to you finding a freaking hypno for that one, Poizek. You were braver than me. <laughs> oh, no, for um, the psychic one, I found a oh. Beldum. Oh, you're Yeah, everybody right. found Beldum. Everyone did Beldum <laughs> for the psychics. Anyone who calls a Pokemon over the level of 10 deserves my respect. <laughs> I don't know if anyone did. Uh, I caught a 20-something Hypno. Oh, you did? Okay. For my weight one. <laughs> oh, also, okay. where are the Beldum? They're in this patch. Yep. Yep, Yep. that patch. I checked that patch a lot. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the fact that it's all, also like a lot of RNG where you just mm. have to find the Pokemon, kind of, eh. It's, okay. like, it's the game. That's just how the game goes. Yep. That's okay. I'm, I'm quite happy oh, with really? my Psycho Rob here. Psycho Rob, Pog. <laughs> yep, Psycho Rob. How is Psycho Rob different to me? It's probably I mean, not. I, we, we, we need to, to, you know, what is it? Management needs you to tell me the difference between these two photos. <laughs> at the same picture. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, I miss him. <laughs> let's go ahead. Oh, might help if I. Oops. Oh, no. Wait. 
Oh, oh cool. wait. Whoopsie. Oh, wait. Hey. Everything hey. is broken. Hey. You did it. We did it. Let's go. We did it. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, we did it. But especially mm-hmm. who did it was Rexy with the live task, getting another five points. Bravo. Woo. So All well, right. I cannot, Congratulations. I just, I just couldn't believe this just we, uh, happened. It's there. So we see how the <laughs> overall score for the episode went. Oh, let's do that, please. Well, you might notice something quite interesting. This is, I believe, one of our closest episodes we have had yet. Where? If we take a look here. My time to be last. Nordic. Yup. Oh, oh dang it. Still takes the lead. Rexy and Brumay are Ooh. very close, though. Zen Boo is still not that far off. <laughs> you say very close. I, you Could you get closer than the same score? I mean, we could be the <laughs> same person, I guess. I meant, <laughs> I meant Promazek and Rexy were close to Nordic. Ah. <laughs> All we, right. I think we both... Might- I think, Poizak, we've already established a few times that we could very well be the same person. <laughs> Nordic with the back-to-back episode win. I'm as Can shocked as you the... are. <laughs> Can we see the total scores? Yep, mm. I am working on that right now. All right. Because, unfortunately, I don't have a way to automate that, so Rob has to do his own arithmetic. Run spreadsheet boy, run home. <laughs> Maths are hard. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Manual labor. Make make a program in Python and run it that way. Yeah. I mean, we all know Rob can't be asked, so he just doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> or open the Taskmaster page in two different browsers. In the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, um, what have we learned today, my dear children? <laughs> the letters. We've learned. We have learned that everybody poops, and that B. <laughs> Stands for backstabber. We've learned that all that Proisek wants is to be eaten by a fish, <laughs> and that the questions "What is a train?" and "What is impressive?" are basically the same questions. But most importantly, what we didn't learn, and what we and what will still be the eternal question, is a monorail a train? <laughs> it's impossible to know. It is impossible to know it. The world may never know. <laughs> now, Rob, do we have uh, our total scores? Yes. So next week will Ooh. be our final week of Taskmaster. No. So, going into it for our series scores, Rexy is at 54, Zet at 61, Nordic at 64, Boo at 69, but Pro nice. is at <laughs> 73. Wow. So, uh, I'm going to get Pro Asec as long as the judging is good. <laughs> I'm going to hope so. I don't know what you're talking about. The judging has been excellent this episode. I'm sure it has with your bribery no. and your... <laughs> 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 Whatever else you've been throwing Flo Hazway. He knows. <laughs> Do I? You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Alrighty Good then. Content. That's what I've been throwing. So yes, tune in next week for our wonderful series finale where we get to see the last of their blood, sweat, and tears. Mostly and, tears. Uh, mm-hmm. mostly, Probably tears. Mostly tears. But, It'll uh, be tears because we're all crying that it's over. But you yeah. know. Uh, yeah. Yes. We, we, yep. we, but you know, we should also ride on monorails because it happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Celebrate monorails. Also, encourage your public transport system. Those are important. We need those and screw car centric cities. Hell oh, yeah. Cool. Public transport. Yes. Public transport. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, do we have anyone to raid? Uh, that is a very good question. Perfect. Um, well, while you how's... figure out an answer to that question, I do want to remind everyone that while next week is our last episode of Taskmaster, in two weeks will be Bingothon Winter 2024. Thank you! Yay! And in fact, Woo. if you want to get really excited for it, tomorrow we will be revealing the schedule for it. 
I will tell you. I hope I got in. Rob is waking up early in the morning again. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But not quite as early as I had to. Thank you, Ruxy. (laughs) Uh, Well, you're looking at someone who wants to be up at like two in the morning to start the long drive down to Belgium for a few days, so it all evens out. Perfect. Start the long drive? Oh man, Nordic, that's a great game. It oh, is, yeah. it is. Yeah. Did you, you turn the broom? You can fly on a broom. You can fly on a broom in that game. <laughs> broom! Broom. Also, it turns out there's a dedicated button for poop. <laughs> I thought there were no buttons the for anything. Okay. Actually, technically, it's not a dedicated button because it also makes you burp and fart. But, you know, hey. It... And we've got a multifunctional button. Yes. <laughs> Since we have a quick moment, I am going to point this out. I forget who it was in chat at this point. I think it was Atomical Sloth who, during the task of ridiculous deaths, brought up the idea of using the game Crash Tag Team Racing. Which, if <laughs> oh, you've yeah. ever That's seen that game, has some of the most absurd deaths that I've ever seen in my life. And it is definitely a game that I've thought of if I ever see that task. But yeah, I mean, I'm aware of the dioramas in Crash Tag Team Racing. Mm-hmm. I'm aware of everything in Crash Tag Team Racing that has nothing to do with racing, because <laughs> why does the game have that title? <laughs> yeah, some racing in it. <laughs> so, I see we found someone to raid. Uh, we have indeed. Uh, we're going back to the Bingo Pump Basics. We're going to Bingo. Yeah. And, yeah. Bingo. Uh, yeah. That is all we have said. Uh, all that we, all that we have left to say. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, make sure to tune in for the schedule reveal tomorrow, and of course for the, uh, the for, for the for the season finale uh, of uh, Bingathon Taskmaster next week. Mm-hmm. You will not be disappointed. Oh yes. And until then, see ya. Bye. Bye bye. Nordic getting drunk. <laughs> the question is, am I? When am I not? Oh, <laughs>